Hey, what's up, folks? <clears throat> How have you been? Um, I decided I'd turn the camera around this way today to um, talk politics a little bit. Um, usually I just do my archaeology videos nowadays. But, um, okay, so I wanted to say I support Cornell West, you know... Well, I don't know if anybody's running against him for the People's Party nomination, but <clears throat> I mean, certainly if the, well, I'm glad that Cornell West is running as a third party person, because as I've been saying, we need some good third party people. Actually, I specifically said, uh, my friend reminded me, actually it was my friend who told me that he was running. And she's like, remember when you said that Cornell West should run as a third party? <laughs> she's like, yeah, he's literally doing it. So, um, so that's good. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people have said that, but uh, that he should run. But um, <clears throat> so you know, I mean, it's like he wasn't as good as RFK on uh, the COVID issues. Um, but, you know, he's probably better than RFK on some things. You know, RFK is maybe a more McCarthyite uh, attitude compared to Cornell, <coughs> Cornell West. Um, I mean, and then they both probably have some problematic views on some things like maybe guns or uh, I don't know that's one of the main ones I'm not sure yeah so I don't know if I'm like 100% like support Cornell West on everything I mean the guns thing is a big thing like that's the thing that a lot of these so-called liberals don't understand is like you can't really be a liberal I mean I'm a liberal right I'm not a liberal because I mean honestly it's stupid the way that most people nowadays use the word liberal because nobody calls themselves a liberal anymore. Liberal is just used as an insult against people who never called themselves liberals, you know, or rarely do, you know, like people call the, the Biden a liberal. Biden himself has always referred to himself as a conservative or a centrist. So it's like, and yet the real li people who actually identify as liberals like RFK, um, are somehow not liberals compared to the, you know, a lot of idiots. So anyway, I'm a liberal. I follow, you know, I, my family has been liberal for like 400 years. My family literally invented liberalism in like, you know, the Anglosphere as, you know, as what it is, you know, they, it was like, uh, <clears throat> it was originally called Wiggery, Wiggism, um, and Argothelian, you know, they were called the Argothelians first, which was the name of my family, you know, the Campbells, my mom's family's, um, uh, their seat, basically their chief, who was the leader of the liberals, uh, he was named Argyle. Duke of Argyle or Earl of Argyle or whatnot. So that's why the the liberals were called Argothelians because that was their that was the main leader. And uh, so you know, people talk shit about liberalism. I I laugh at you know whatever the newfangled like definitions of these things are when you're using old words and you don't know what the actual definitions of them are. Anyway, I consider myself a liberal. And, uh, but, you know, you can't be a liberal unless you support gun rights. That's what liberalism was literally founded on. It was founded by the Argothelians, the Whigs, and it was founded on the right of resistance. That was fundamental the right of resistance against tyranny, the right of an armed populace. You know, that's why they had a lot of militias, like liberal militias in 
even in Britain and Ireland and everywhere, all the liberals, that was the standard thing. Um, championing the right to bear arms, you know, the Bill of Rights that was put through by the liberals. Thomas Jefferson referred to himself as a liberal, a liberal Democrat. I know there's a lot of people who call themselves Jeffersonians who say that liberalism and democracy are the worst possible things. Okay, those people are not Jeffersonians. They're Tories, or they're very confused. So anyway, um, but I'm still running too, you know, like, I don't know if I should run. Um, I don't know if I should run against uh, Cornell West for the People's Party nomination, or if I should try to run Green or Libertarian, or try to run Independent. I mean, ultimately, I probably won't do that much of anything until I, in, unless I get enough feedback that people are like actually interested in my candidacy i mean we'll see i don't know i mean if i can i'll <laughs> try to put myself out there but i don't want to just um yeah i'm not i don't want to give like endless effort if it's just me that is that wants <laughs> to vote for myself and nobody else does <laughs> Even though I, you know, I think I have better positions than any other of these candidates. But I think that's been true in all the races that I've run in. You know, I've run for governor, I've run for president. And I think I've always had better positions by far of all the candidates. But people don't care. They don't care what your positions are if you're not famous. And, uh, you know. So... So yeah, it'll be good to have Cornell West running. Um, it was interesting to see like that. Uh, what was it? RBN Revolutionary Blackout Network were tra were trashing him, or especially Compton J. I guess. Yeah, Compton J was trashing. Uh, I mean, not exactly trashing Cornell West, but he was just trashing his decision to run in the People's Party, and he was saying, like, that's, you know, he should have run green or whatever because the Greens have ballot access. And, you know, that's, you know, that's a decent argument, but the stupid thing is, I mean, I don't know. To me, that Compton J seems like a saboteur. You know, like, I used to follow him and... MM, mixed MMA or whatever on um, Twitter and I think one of them, at least one of them used to follow me and like they cancelled me on one of the stupid little like PC brigade things due to like gender issues or some identity or because of Rit Kyle Rittenhouse or some stupid shit it was probably that, it was probably because I defended Carl Kyle Rittenhouse I said, well, actually, he might not be a white supremacist because he literally didn't shoot black people. He shot white people. And so for that, I got, like, canceled. Anyway, I don't remember which, but I think one of them, like, unfollowed me over that shit. And I just saw them falling for a lot of the stupid identity politics bullshit on there. You know, like a lot of these people who claim to be like, oh, we're about the working class. We don't fall for identity politics division, except all the time, <laughs> or at least half the fucking time. So anyway, like Compton J, he was so against like, you know, it just seemed like he's trying to sabotage the campaign. Like he was saying like, like somebody was saying, oh, the due dissidence people, they were saying like, well, you know, yeah, maybe there's a lot of baggage with the um, Nick Brana thing. You know, Nick Brana because there was some scandal or some, you know, uh, accusations or something. And, but he's saying, well, nobody 